yes, I died in hardcore. I was attempting to build this floating village over the void when disaster struck. But I think the easiest way for me to explain what happened is to let you watch the episode I was making when I died. By the way, hit the like button and comment the word nice if you'd like to see Hardcore Season 2. Today I have a huge project in Minecraft Hardcore because I'm going to blow up this boring village and transform it into a floating paradise over the void. And because this is such a big project, I'll be dividing the video up into three different phases. Which brings us to phase one. Ta -unta. Eh, if you know, you know. And if you don't know, I guess you don't know. Alright, I guess we'll start by making a perimeter around here with TNT, and then we'll start filling in the village. You know, this is probably going to be the easiest part of the entire video, because I'm going to have to break a whole bunch of bedrock once we get this blown up. You slimes are just hanging around here like fools. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so cool. Now, we've probably all done this in creative mode, right? When we were like five. I'm just like six times older than a five-year-old. Please let me know in the comments if you've done this before. That way I don't feel like such an idiot. Not that you're an idiot, I'm just saying that I... Oh, forget it. Hang on, we can't blow up this village. There's cats here. Hang on, we need to initiate Operation Cat Rescue. Don't worry, villagers, I'm gonna save your cats. You are going to be my guard cats. You keep all the creepers away, okay? Uh, Mr. Villager, I'm just letting you know that your cats are going to be totally safe whenever we blow up your village. You know, you guys might not be safe, but I think I'm willing to live with that. You don't deserve to live. I think I'm worse than a five-year-old. Dude, imagine if a creeper blew up right now. Oh man, I'd be so dead. Hey, I think we're done. I'm just gonna take some of this because I'm going to make a few pressure plates and uh, it's all going to be up to the sheep. Come on, come on, no, come this way, this way. <gasps> okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, okay. Oh, there it goes. Oh, this is gonna wreck my PC. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's completely gone. Oh wait, we got a few more pieces right here. <gasps> no way. He survived. This dude's a survivor. And of course it was the nitwit that had to survive. Actually, you know what? Come back here. There. Huh. Now it's time for phase two, where I have to break out a 250 by 200 hole in this bedrock. That's 50,000 bedrock blocks. Assuming I spend five minutes breaking each block manually, this is going to take me 250,000 minutes, or 4,166 hours, or 173 real life days. I don't have that kind of time. So we're gonna build some insane redstone contraptions and make them do the work for us. In order to do this though, I'm gonna need so much material and especially pistons. I think I'm gonna need thousands of pistons, so we're gonna need a lot of this stuff. And believe me, this project is going to take me well over a thousand days because I'm already at 817 and we still have so much to just prepare for. I know I'm gonna need a ton of slime. We're gonna need a bunch of redstone. I crafted up a bunch of pistons, and honestly, we're probably gonna need thousands of these. So I've got my work cut out for me. And that's when disaster struck. I returned to my redstone contraption after clearing my inventory, and I ran out of rockets on my way there. I started breaking bedrock, and then I started picking up the broken pistons lying around. That's when a slime punched me in the back and made me fall into the void. And without any rockets to fly out of there, it was a hopeless situation. Now I was going to do some kind of a world tour, but I'm not able to log back into my world. For some reason, I click on it and it gets stuck in the loading screen. But don't worry, I'll be starting a new hardcore let's play very soon. 